Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Evernote yet again. I've done many Evernote tutorials in the past, but today I am bringing it down and showing you how to use it from scratch on your phone. We're going to be talking all about the Evernote phone app specifically. I'm gonna start off with the very beginner friendly tutorial on how to use Evernote on your phone. After that, we'll get into many, many tips and tricks on how to use it effectively because the Evernote phone app is different than the web version that you would use on your computer and there are many things you can do to use it more effectively to get to your notes and notebooks faster so if you're ready for this tutorial keep on watching this is the Evernote account that I use for my tutorial so it's pretty bare bones there's really nothing in here but I wanted to use this one to show you how Evernote works without all my clutter. This is what yours will pretty much look like when you just start your account. And the first thing we're gonna look into is these three lines at the top left corner. I'm going to tap that. And then I'm going to tap the profile icon, which for me, it's an S. You can change it to your picture, but it will start with the first letter of your name when you just start your account. I'm gonna click on that S. And then it's going to bring us to our account information. And here is where you can do many things like sign out. You can manage the devices that you have your Evernote account connected to. Two things that I do want to know are one, the current monthly usage. This is where you will go see how much more storage you have left. You get 60 megabytes of storage for free using Evernote and it restarts every 30 days. Not every month, but every 30 days. So if I started my account today, which is February 20th, it will renew in 30 days, which would be March 20th. And it will give me 60 fresh megabytes. If you wanted more than that every 30 days, then you'd have to upgrade to the premium version of Evernote. But I've been using Evernote for years and years and I've never needed to upgrade. I think that you can stay within the free version if you're not using a lot of um, photos and big files, different things like that. But it's up to you if you want to upgrade. Another thing I want you to look at is this Evernote email. If you ever want to send something to yourself from an email or from anywhere, you can always email it to yourself to your Evernote app here using this email. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to start explaining what all of these things are, what all these options do. And I'm going to leave the bottom two, the settings and explore Evernote for later. For now, let's start with this moon right here, dark theme and light theme. I like to keep it the light one, but you can change it if you want. Here we have the trash. Anytime you delete a notebook or a note from Evernote, it will never delete completely and permanently. It will always go to trash. And it's from here where you can delete it permanently by just tapping on it, clicking the top three buttons and click delete note. And then you can delete it forever. Work chat is where you will communicate with other people if you want to collaborate on a notebook or a note with your friends or coworkers or people that you're collaborating with on a project that's where you would go to chat with them collected photos anytime you have a picture on your phone with something that has text on it Evernote will save it and give you a chance to store it to Evernote and I really don't like this option on so I'll show you how to turn it off later. Shared with me is where you will see notebooks and notes that people share to you with to your Evernote account. And then finally we have the notebooks and notes. Let's start with notebooks. A notebook is just like you had in school, a regular notebook that you had for each subject. And inside each notebook, you're going to add notes, which would be like the pages of a notebook. So here I added some notebooks. I have a daily to-do list, emails, meals, places to visit, social media, YouTube. And to add a notebook, all you have to do is click the notebook with the plus button. And then you can name your notebook and click OK. And that's how you will be adding notebooks. Next to that is this magnifying glass and here's where you can search through your notes. Below that, where it says find a notebook, that's where you can search for your notebooks. Once your notebook library and your notes library starts growing, this may be an easier way to find a specific item you're looking for. Next to that magnifying glass, we have these three dots and here's where you can sort your notebooks and you can sort them by title or by note count or by owner. Sync is to make sure that any changes you've made to your Evernote on a different device shows up on across all devices. So that's a good 
thing to make sure that it's always synced and then we have settings which we'll go into later you can find even more options for your notebooks by clicking the three dots that are on the right hand side of each notebook just click that and here you can share this notebook now you have to do is input the name and email a little message and send that notebook to whoever you want you can also rename the notebook here you can also of course delete the notebook and then the stack and shortcut options we'll get into later now let's start talking about notes say i wanted to add a note to this daily to-do list notebook i'm just going to click on it and then this round green plus button on the bottom right is how you will start adding a note to this notebook another way to look at this whole notebook note situation is that evernote is like a digital filing system and each notebook is the folder and each note inside is the file that you're putting into each folder and then when we click that plus button here's the different kinds of files you can put in here you can put a reminder a audio an attachment which is a pdf a word document a photo you can write something in handwriting you can add a picture or you can add a regular text note so that's what i'm going to click for now and now it will automatically prompt you to start writing and here you can just type whatever you want or you can use one of their templates i'm going to click on it to show you i have all different sorts of templates i'm going to search for a template that has to do with planning let's do a daily planner click apply template and as you can see here it shows the time and the task you have to do and it's easy for you to just fill out i hardly ever use a template though most of the time i just do my own template something that i'm going to be using over and over again like the descriptions for this video descriptions for my poshmark listings my daily to-do list anything that i'm going to be using over and over I make my own templates and that's the way I do it but you do have that option to use Evernote's template I'm going to go ahead and delete that though and before we move forward how about we name this note I'm going to click where it says note title on top and I'm going to name this note Monday and at the top you see that we have these options the first one is the redo and the undo button then we have the font option here is another way to attach files to this note and to attach pictures using this camera option I'm going to click on the A symbol and then at the bottom it will show us different layouts and things we can do to our note and this works pretty much like any word processing system you can bold italicize underline highlight you can make numbered lists bold lists and all those kinds of neat things I'm going to use this check mark box just to start writing my to-do list here and this works just like a checklist and you can check it as you get done the next things i want to go over first is this clock button that looks like an alarm clock here's where you can add a reminder if you want to be prompted and reminded about a certain note you can always add a reminder there next is tags this item this icon here will allow you to add tags so this note has to do with planning so i'll just put plan and that way I can always search for tags that say plan and it'll pull up everything that's tagged that way. And this is helpful for when you have different notes that are in different notebooks, but they're about the same thing. It's just another level of organization. There's many things you can do to keep your things organized and to find them when you need them. Next to that, we have the I and here's just where you'll find different information about this note, like when you updated it, when you create it, and then here you can see the tags that you've added, location, and all those things. Last thing we're going over here in this notes is the three dots on the top right hand corner. The magnifying glass option will allow you to search for things in the note. So if you're looking for certain text, you can always search for it there. Then we have the share again. Just like notebooks, you can share specific notes as well. Then we have internal links, and this is just to get a link of this note so that you can copy and paste it anywhere. If you wanted to make a duplicate of this note, this is where you would do it as well. And then the rest of the things we'll get into in a moment. I'm going to click the check mark here to be done with this note. Click the back button and now we are where we started. So that is how you use Evernote and now I'm here in my actual Evernote account that I use on the daily basis. I'm just going to go over some of the things I have here, how I have my Evernote organized to give you some ideas and to share some more ways and tips and hacks on how you can effectively use this 
Evernote phone app. But I do recommend you check out my Evernote playlist. I will link it down in the description because in those videos, I share even more ways to use Evernote effectively to organize your everyday life. So at the top, we're starting with recent notebooks and here's where you will find the notebooks that you've used most recently. Below that, my first notebook is called a to be filed notebook. In this notebook, I use it like a junk drawer. It's where everything goes. This is my master notebook. So anytime that I share something from the internet to Evernote, anytime that I create a quick note, it will always come here to this note because I set it as a default notebook and I will show you how to do that for yours in a moment. So I just throw everything in this notebook and like once a week or so, I will come in here and transfer each note to its appropriate notebook. Then below that, I just have different notebooks for different aspects of my businesses. So for affiliates, Amazon, blogs. Also this note that says book notes. When I'm reading on a Kindle, if I wanna save certain text from that book, I just share it to my Evernote here. I have business ideas, KDP. And these notebooks that have those three lines here, these are called stacks. So a stack is a group of notebooks, which is again, another organizational stage of using Evernote. Once you have a lot of different notebooks that are about the same thing, it's useful to put them all together. So they still remain separate. They're still separate notebooks, but you can put them all together just to organize your Evernote further. So for business ideas and projects, I put all these different notebooks in the same stack. Then for my personal, here I have expenses, goals, holiday checklist, motivational stash, my weekly check-in, all of these things, I put them together in the personal stack. Then for recipes, I have ideas and then I have actual recipes that I've done in the past. So there I have them together too, but the notebooks stay separate. And to make a stack, all you have to do is click the three dots that are next to a notebook. Then here you see that you have have the option to move to a stack or to move to a new stack. Say I wanted to add this Amazon ads to a new stack. I'm going to click that and then it's going to have me name this stack. I'm going to name it Amazon and click OK. And now say I wanted to add this book notes to the Amazon stack and I can click move to stack and it will give me a list of all the stacks I have and I'm going to click Amazon and now we'll add it there. Now they are together and I can use this arrow button to close them or push it again to open them to see the notebooks that are within that stack. Next I'm going to click these three lines at the top left corner and let's talk about shortcuts. The start button. Here's where you can add any notes or notebooks that you use frequently just so that you can get to them faster. I have this YouTube notebook here and I'm going to go ahead and add this to be filed notebook here two shortcuts just to show you how you do it. I'm going to click these three dots on the top right corner and I'm going to click add to shortcuts. And now if I go back, it, you'll see that it added it there for me. Now let's go to the very bottom option where it says settings and talk about some of the things you can customize here. The first one, account info, we went into earlier. Here's where you can set up devices, check your monthly usage and things like that. Below that, we have notifications. If you see here where it says collect notifications, this is about the photos that I told you earlier where it shows you every single photo you take with your phone and tries to get you to save it to Evernote. If you uncheck that, it will stop doing that for you. So I did that now. The last neat thing I wanna show you from this notifications options is the quick note. It says add notes from notification bar. If you check mark that option, then it will it will give you an option to add a quick note from your notifications bar, which is easier to get to. So if you want to just jot down something really quick and you don't want to open up your Evernote, choose a notebook, choose a note to add it to. Here's where you can just add a quick note. And this quick note will go to your default notebook, which we'll get into in just a moment. Next up, we have camera. And here's where you can set up the way you want Evernote to take pictures. Below that, we have notebooks. And here's where we get to the default notebook. Mine is to be filed, remember? Um, here's where you can choose where you want everything to automatically go. When you share something from the web, something from an email, when you're jotting a quick note from the quick notes on the notification, bar. All of those things will go to your default notebook. So just pick the one you want or create one. 
Some people create a notebook called an inbox and that's where they send all of their stuff to file for later. Next, we have notes and here's where you can customize your notes. You can add the location that you're writing your notes in. You can choose the size, but let's go ahead and go into this customize plus button. And here's where you can customize these options. If you use the text note more often than audio, you can put it on top and just organize it how you want it. And the rest of the options are just general things like supports and connected accounts, things like that. I'm going to go back. Two more things I want to show you so that you can use your Evernote phone app more effectively. One is that you can add any note to your home screen so that you can access it faster. I'm gonna go to this to be filed notebook. I'm gonna click the plus button to add a new note. I'm going to add a text note and I'm going to name this note a to-do list. This is something that you'd wanna have easy access to. So I'm going to add this list to the home screen. First, you have to start off the list. I'm going to click the check mark. You can click the icon with the top three dots on the right hand side. And then here you'll have the option to add it to shortcuts. Just like notebooks, you can add any note to your shortcuts or you can add it to your home screen. So click add to home screen. And now here it is in my home screen. And it will be easy to just click and go ahead and add things to my to-do list or check things off. Now this green Evernote bar here is a widget and this is another thing I want to show you, the last thing actually. So I don't know for iPhone specifically, but for Androids to add a widget, all you have to do is tap and hold your home screen and then you'll see the widgets option here and then just scroll over until you find Evernote and here you'll have different widget options to add. You can add a 4x2 where it'll just show your Evernote list or you can add this bar here like I have, or this one by one note. And this is the one I have, so I'm going to go ahead and click it. And then here you can see that you can add the different options that you wanna have quick access to. You can choose a specific notebook that you want your notes that you add from the widget to go to. You can change your theme here as well and just click done. Now I have two widgets, but I only need one. So I'm just gonna click and hold and click remove from home screen. So by now, I hope that you feel ready and equipped to start building your own Evernote system. Just remember to take it slow, build it as you go. Things will come together. I didn't start off with an Evernote system that I have now. It continues to evolve all the time as I learn new ways to use Evernote, as Evernote rolls out new features and things like that. I'm always learning new things and always adapting to it as well. I hope I didn't give you too much information to overwhelm you, but if you do have any questions, any concerns or anything, leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, let me know that in the comments below too. I wanna know what you're finding helpful and what you're not so I can know what kind of videos to make in the future. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.